Douglas with Douglas Lawn Care checking back in with you guys. I want to show you guys what I'm going to be plowing with this year. I uh, ran this setup last year. I want to show you the pros and the cons of this setup and who this setup is intended for. And just go over everything about this plow, how well it does in the snow. As you guys can tell, we just got quite a bit of snow. I've uh, been out plowing two times this year. I have a Ram 1500 Hemi with a 5.7 liter. Um, so I do have a half ton truck guys. Uh, most guys out there are not plowing with a half ton truck. Um, like I said, I never intended on getting into snow plowing. That's why I went with the half ton truck for my lawn care business. When I decided that I wanted to start snow plowing um, full time, I had two choices to make. Buy a used truck uh, that had was the capability of putting a bigger plow on there or buying this Western HTS half ton snow plow. Uh, I ended up deciding that I want to run this truck uh, for my snow plowing. So I ended up going with the Western HTS snow plow. It is uh, seven foot six inches wide um, and it is a light, lightweight plow guys it is about uh, 412 pounds western says on their website um yeah seven foot six inches this plow is designed for a half ton truck lightweight light duty plow that's why it is about half the weight as your normal plow looking at the side of the plow here it is 14 gauge powder coated steel mold board and the plow height itself is 27 inches tall um, so it is smaller than your normal than your normal plow but i tell you what guys it does get the job done and it does move snow so the hts cutting blade has a 75 degree angle on it with a high carbon steel cutting edge if we move to the back of the plow you can see that it has two trip springs back here just in case you catch something it uh, will trip to save the plow um, and your truck. To be honest, I do notice that this plow trips quite a bit um, more than I would like. And to be honest, I have not ran a heavier plow than this myself full time. Um, and I really think because it's so lightweight and it only has the two trip springs um, that it trips a lot more than a normal plow would. Is that an inconvenience? Yes. Um, is it a big deal? No, but sometimes you have to go back and forth a little bit uh, because it trips and it's, it's just more of an annoyance than anything. There are two options when it comes to lighting on this plow. I ended up going with the um, stock option. There is a uh, LED light system that is available. And if you are looking at this plow, I would recommend to upgrade to that light system. I think it is uh, quite a bit more money, but these lights suck to be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I had brighter lights on this thing. One, one thing I love about this plow, it does come with the ultra mount um, attachment system. So underneath here on my Ram, it is hooked up right in there. Um, as you can see, um, the plow just basically fits right into uh, these extension pieces in here. Um, and I have this handlebar here, which if I pull this, um, it latches both sides. Um, it's really easy to put on and take off. You can do it within a matter of minutes. Um, I have had the one problem when I put this bar down on the ground, um, it must have caught on something and it totally bent this bar uh, sideways. It was a pain in the butt, freaked me out, I'll tell you what. Um, but with my dad's help, we got some straps, um, winched it back in place with the uh, sledgehammer um, so it's back it's back in place when you are taking the plow off and on I would probably recommend to put it on concrete or something level so that thing does not catch on anything and you don't have problems um, that's the first time I've ever had a problem with it and I was surprised when it happened I was upset when it happened I freaked out when it happened because uh, it, I couldn't get the plow back onto the truck um, but like I said with a sledgehammer and uh, some straps, we were able to bend that metal bracket back in place. Now Western does give you two options of control handles. I think this is the most common handle. Um, there's a bunch of different features on this. Obviously you have your on and off, your scoop, your retract, um, your two types of different wings if you have a plow with wings, which I do not. So basically all I am using because I have the lightweight plow, up, down, right, left, um, 
and if you hold the down button it does go in the float position so western also does add a couple different add-on options to the plow i'm going to show you a couple different things that i added on to my plow yeah i added the shoe kit uh, that western offers i got one on this side and one on the other side they are adjustable so you can adjust the height of them most of my driveways right now are residential driveways that's why i'm okay with doing the lightweight plow here um, the HGS plow, it's not a big issue. I just have some small driveways. I have about 30 driveways, so I do have quite a bit, but they're all smaller residential driveways. Um, and most of them are gravel. That's why I want the shoe kit, so I don't mess up these these driveways when I am plowing um, in the wintertime. Because if you don't have that on, on a gravel driveway, you can really, really make a mess. Another add-on feature that I added was the Western Snow Deflector here. I would highly recommend getting the Snow Deflector um, you do not want snow um, coming up when you're plowing. It will come up and onto your windshield. Um, instead, it will just go down and off to the side. So I would highly recommend getting that. This is definitely one of the add-on features that I would recommend getting. Now, Western does also have a back drag blade um, that goes right on... Um, I believe here and it goes this way back drag so when you back drag um, you're pulling the snow backwards I have considered uh, purchasing that I think it's like a hundred and some dollars hundred twenty five dollars I've seen some positive reviews on the back drag blade uh, I've seen some negative reviews on the back drag blade um, so I don't know I haven't decided if I want to make that purchase yet the last plow that I went out uh, it was really wet so when I back drag from the house the snow packed down quite a bit uh, so I was having to go back and forth, back and forth to scrape that snow up. Um, and that, in my mind, I, want, I think the back drag blade would have been beneficial. Um, but I think in a normal snow and not wet packed down like that, um, I don't think the back drag blade would be that big of a difference. I don't know. Um, if you guys have a back drag blade, let me know in the comments below and let me know if it's worked out for you guys. So being a light duty plow, um, you do not have a chain lift. We can look inside of here real quick. Um, you can tell this is where we have the um, hydraulic oil. It is not a train chain lift. It is all done by hydraulics. That being said, this plow is very responsive and I feel like it is um, just as fast on the controls as a normal chain lift plow. Overall, do I think this is a good plow? Yes and no. This plow costs, I want to say, about $4,000. Um, the mid-weight plows are, I think, around $6,000. And the heavier-duty plows, you're going to spend eight to ten. dollars um, So, obviously, it is a cheaper plow, and it has its purpose in the market. Um, I did not want to raise my front end up and put a mid-weight size plow on it. Uh, this is a very, very nice truck I have. Uh, I just didn't want to ruin the truck. And just for plowing for a couple months out of the year, um, this, this, plow gets, this plow gets the job done. Really, the only complaint that I have about the plow is that I think it just trips a little bit too much. Um, but that has to do with being light and only having two trip springs in the back. Uh, also, another complaint about it is it is only 400 pounds compared to uh, full, compared to eight uh, to 900 pounds, even maybe more than the midway to the heavy plows. Uh, so when you back drag from a house, um, because it's quite a bit lighter, uh, you do tend to compact that snow down a little bit more than I think you um, I, you should. Uh, so you're spending a little bit of extra time uh, trying to scrape that from the concrete or even the gravel, that snow that you packed it down. Um, but you get what you pay for. Is this a good plow? Yeah, it's a decent plow for the money. It gets the job done. I have no complaints about it really other than what I've mentioned in the video. Um, would I recommend this plow? I would recommend this plow if you have a half ton truck, guys. I definitely would recommend this plow. Like I said, I thought about building the front end up a little bit and getting a mid-weight plow, but um, I, this plow does the job. And for $4,000, um, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest with you. So hopefully you guys took something out of this video. If you did, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hopefully we can make some snow plowing videos coming up very soon. Um, it is kind of hard for me to make some snow plowing videos. Um, getting pretty busy at 30, 35 or so accounts right now. And I know I'm going to have quite a bit more when the snow really starts to fly. 
And so hopefully we can keep these videos coming because um, I'm going to be really, really busy in the next probably couple months. So again, Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, be safe out there, guys.